a little more. Uh, that'll give them a, a breather. Because with, with Patrick Mahomes back there, all they need is a thimble, a fucking defense, and it's over. I don't think it's a team. Only reason I would root against the Chiefs is because Mike Tomlin is black. They play the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm going to root against them because Mike Tomlin is black. I'm sorry. I got to do it. But if they don't play the Pittsburgh Steelers, I'm going to the Chiefs all the way. And that's just, I mean, I, mean, you know, I got to roll with the brother. I'm sorry. I don't even like that fucking Ben Roberts, but he's fucking rapist. Speaking of being stupid, Adrian Peterson is back in the news this week, man. What the hell is wrong with that boy, man? Why? What is it about our community that forces us to expose our greatest flaws to the world and brandish them as if they are gold medal? I still with my kids' ass. Look, man, shut the hell up about what's going on in your house, man. Stop it, AP, man. That is just butt naked stupid, man. I don't get why. Why? 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 Why, Adrian? The Saints have had uh, at least four games where they've allowed 30 points. They also have nobody in defense. The difference is they run the hell out the ball. They bleed the clock to them. That's why I put them in front of everybody else because they bleed the hell out of the clock. They give their defense a well-rested average defense is better than a pretty good tired defense. Patrick Mahomes throwing that, he airing that thing out. He airing that thing out and, 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 and getting that defense right back on the field. I don't think the Chiefs defense is bad as it is as it shows statistically, but they are tired. They're being worn out. If Andy Reid start running that boy Kareem Hunt more, it'll open up more windows for Patrick Mahomes and the homie and, and the rest of them homies. And then again, I'm fucking with the Chiefs. I just Andy Reid, that's his been his Achilles heel back when he was with the fucking Eagles. He don't want to run the goddamn football. And back to this damn fool. Look, man, I know AP with a belly. Hey, this dude, just shut the fuck up about what's going on in your house, man. You, you talk about the perception positions your wife like? No, you don't. You talk about what y'all did, freaky? No, you don't. So stop talking about everything in your house. See, I don't know if y'all ever listen to my show when I do interviews with other people. I did an uh, uh, interview with MC Shan this week. The reason... I, I, like MC Shan wants to talk about his drug addiction. I, I'm a hip hop fan. I don't give a fuck about what you do in your personal time. Let's talk about this hip hop shit. Let's talk about your accomplishments. I have no time to talk about your shortcomings because your shortcomings are going to be put on the news. They're going to be put on TMZ. They're going to be put everywhere. So everybody know about that. Let us get to know you. And my Chiefs and Rams don't use up the clock. We had a series of seven players. Exactly. That's, but that was something. That, but Todd Gurley, look at how much tip. Look how much. How, look, look how often. Uh, 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 look at how often on a regular evening they use Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley was on pace to break the touchdown record. That helps that piss poor ass defense they have. And that's why I say when Tom Ali come back and Barry come back. It's a different Chiefs team because then they're going to be putting that heat on quarterbacks and knocking the hell and then it's going on. You should hear my dad's, uh, uh, the shit my dad says, no filter, ill-advised shit. Huh? I agree again, but he's from Palestine. <laughs> and, hey, that's in Texas. That ain't outside of America. That's in Texas. But yeah, man. The Rams did not even utilize Ty Gurley in that game by the halftime. He's only rushed. But what uh he only rushed eight times. What are you talking about? But you're talking about one game, Tiffany. I'm not I'm talking about the season. We're talking about one game. You throw the ball, keep the pace with the points, and Hunt was getting uh getting it in the red zone. I think Hunt needs to get the ball between the twenties. Give people a rest. If you are keep, if you run the ball, if you get Kareem Hunt the ball 18 to 22 times in a game, and all you have to do is move, if Patrick Mahomes motions his arm as if he's doing play, he could be the worst play action quarterback in the world. If you get the ball to Kareem Hunt 18 times a game, 
uh, 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 Tariq Hill and the rest of them boys out there that down Kelsey that down uh, uh, tight end he gonna be so fucking wide open he gonna, he gonna be able to cover his eye with one hand one eye with one hand throw the ball down the field that's all I'm saying I'm not knocking the Chiefs I'm a Raider fan but I'm a realist I like football I just want to see good football and I think the best way to see good football Spencer Ware needs more reps to uh, exactly see, we on the same page we on the same we 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 rocking with the best. We rocking with the best. I'm just saying, this dude, Andy Reid, Achilles Hill is not running the ball enough. Bleed the clock. That's all I'm saying. Till I'm not saying to turn this shit into four yards on the cloud of dust. I'm saying keep look. When Kareem Hunt gets rolling, that means the linebackers have to take a step forward. That means one of those safeties got to take a step forward. You got one. You got single high safety with Kareem Hunt. And Kelso, on the, you got Kareem Hunt on the left, Kelso on the, in the slot, and, and, and what's his name, Benjamin on the right. That's single coverage throughout the league. You can't stop them. But if you keep hitting, hitting my man Tariq Hill and he can't get 85-yard touchdowns, you put your defense back on the on the field too fast, they get tired, and then team scoring 51 points on them. That's all I'm saying. I'm, I'm telling you, I love football more than I like the Raiders. I love football way more than I like the Raiders. I want to see good football. Do I want to see the Chiefs beat the Raiders? Hell no. But do I want to see the Chiefs win? Because I like the brothers out there? Hell yeah. That's all I'm saying, too. But back to this jackass Adrian Peterson, man. What the fuck, man? Why are we, why are we talking this shit to these people, man? You know they're going to put you on blast. And look, he did the interview a while ago, but now the shit just coming out right ass Right as uh, uh, he is, is is looking good. It's just, hey, one step forward, four steps back. We don't get two steps back. We do not get two steps back. And when are these numbskull-ass Negroes going to figure it out? Speaking of figuring things out, when in the hell, when in the hell are the Dallas Cowboys going to realize exactly what I'm telling Tiffany about her team? At least Tiffany... I'm not, I don't care. I, I can't stand that fucking John group. Fuck him and feed him beans. Fuck him in his ass. Throw him over a bridge. I'm not a Raider fan. I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a die a Raider fan. Win, lose, a tie Raider nation till I die. But I'm not rooting for the team until they get rid of Mr. Spider Y2 Banana. Some folks really need to uh, be the puppets. Hell yeah. Just what are you doing, you stupid ass man? You just, I mean, he, he, you know what? Adrian Peterson may have cost himself a job next year because you already got the over 30 thing working against you. You were top five in NFL rushing, so you was going to get another job. But you kicking your kids' ass again, Adrian. They getting rid of you now, man. You, get your, you got your coat. Get your hat, nigga. You out of here, man. But like I was saying, back to these damn fools talking about not figuring it out. What? This is what I've been saying all year. I'm a Redskins fan. I'm sick of Jay Gruden ass too. Fuck both the groups. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. Fuck both of them. And his ass need to be on the Budweiser high, high C2, Russell. Seeing how you're a Redskins fan, let's talk about them dumbass, your, your dumbass division rate of uh, uh, mate, the Dallas Cowboy. Everybody wanted to throw the homie Dak Prescott under the bench, under, under the bus. This man been looking at the transmission all year. <laughs> Good hot garbage, boy. They're, both the groups are morning breath. They both stink all to be damned. Check it out. I'm trying to understand why everybody in their mama gave Eli Manning an excuse. Tom Brady will be getting, he'll be afforded excuses at the end of this season. You know, they already threw it out there that he tweaked his knee. He know he didn't. He tweaked his birthday. He has had too many. He's about to overdose on birthdays. That's what his problem is. He is he getting high. He's had too many fucking birthdays. That's what uh, 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 this motherfucker's problem is. It ain't got shit to do with no talent around him. You fuck the team when you will let them get rid of Gronk. The running game ain't there, so you getting put on your ass on a regular basis. And like Marvin Hansen, you the master of the bitch ass. When the dudes get close to you, you fold. Or you throw the ball on the ground. So please miss me with that bullshit. But if Eli Manning needed uh, talent, even though, you know, one no Odell, 
and wasn't no shepherd, and they ain't had no running game, and they ain't had no uh, <coughs> blocker for Eli. How the fuck was everybody kicking Dak's draws in his ass this year? Dak didn't, they wasn't running the ball, he didn't have nobody to throw it to, and then you got this garbage ass white boy who made a rap album. Why ain't nobody talking about uh, uh, Beasley for making a rap album? If a bruh make a rap album, he will, uh, hi, why he ain't practicing more? It's 24 hours a day. You're going to practice four hours. You're going to study for four hours. You're going to sleep for, four, uh, for eight hours. So you got 16 hours right there. You got eight hours not to do shit. Why can't I do a rap album? How the fuck hard is that? But anyway, Dak Prescott, up until Amari Cooper, uh, 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 Cooper got there, Amari Cooper got there, and now all of a sudden they want to run the fucking ball and make Dak look like bullshit. Again, why don't y'all start adjusting some of this shit from the, uh, 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 so, uh, just, uh, uh, bringing some of the shit that he did well in college into the pro game? Why are we always just saying what the bros can't do well? Oh, well, you know, the bros don't do that well. Oh, well, you know, the bros don't do that well. Why is it that the bros don't do why ain't, why ain't, why ain't, why ain't the coaches don't do that well? How well is, how well is Dak being coached? This shit is a joke. Now all of a sudden he the boy again. He ain't the boy. He ain't getting no better. At the end of the day it works like this. If you come into the league and you're doing very well, I'm giving that credit to your college coach. I will be giving that credit right there to your college coaches. And the reason I'm giving to your college coaches is because they developed you and you're just executing what you learned in college. If you regress from a very good rookie season, that is the current coach's problem. Because they didn't coach you up. And that's the problem. You have zero separation with your special or, or with your or, or, with your specialty players or, 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 or skill players, I should say. And you have you are running a an archaic offense and people are figuring it out. They were saying that back when the Ravens was winning the Super Bowls. They were saying that back when everybody else was kicking the Cowboys in their ass and y'all running the same archaic ass offense and expecting different results. It's a joke. Just like Jay Groove. Jay Groove, look, look, everybody want to tell me about how Marvin Lewis needs to be fired because he ain't won a, a playoff game and, and he been there 10 years. Well, goddammit, Jay been there 8. And he ain't won shit either. But ain't nobody talking about him losing his damn job. And, and everybody told me, see, Kirk Cousins won good because he ain't had no weapons. The last time I checked, Pierre Garçon, Reed, and Jackson were weapons. And he didn't win a motherfucking thing. Man, y'all need to go head on with that bullshit, man. It's just, it's just crazy. I don't get it, man. I really don't get it. And why is it, since we on this bullshit right here, why is it that every time it's a black quarterback in the league, he got to be running his ass around like a child in a walker? Like, he did my man Lamar Jackson with the fucking 28 runs. Hey, fun fact. Do yourself a favor. Look up Andrew Luck's quarter, um, uh, uh, 40 time and see that it's only two tenths of a second slower than Cam's. So, he ain't even, he ain't even slow enough to verbally, visually see him. But you run Cam all around the building, but you can't, you have to treat Andrew Luck like he uh, tackling him on the pillow. The fuck out of here with that shit. And I'm not trying to hear that shit. I'm not trying to hear. Go ahead on with that shit. And with that being said, let me calm my ass down and make these picks for the week. I got the Jacksonville and Buffalo for the toilet bowl game. Jacksonville going to beat Buffalo because they ain't got nobody to throw the damn ball. The Cincinnati Bengals will beat the uh, Cleveland Brown because Hugh Jackson know exactly how to beat Johnny Manziel Jr., a.k.a. Baker Mayfield, the current most overrated quarterback in the league. He don't stand a chance. The Bengals, Vontaze Burkett might put, the, put that motherfucker on smack down on him. The Jets at the uh, New England Patriots, you give Bill Belichick two weeks, he probably going to beat just about anybody. Unless Todd Bowles put that pass rush on this old man, and then it's over. But I don't see that happening. They don't have enough skilled players. I'm hoping, you know what, I'm going to go out on them. Todd Bowles going to put that pass rush on Tom Brady, and he's going to be efficient at the bitch ass, and then it's over. He's going to be dropping the balls on the ground. Philadelphia Eagles will bounce back and beat Eli and the New York Giants. That was just, it's been an epiphany. 
seeing how Jameis Winston ain't never going to start again. I'm going with the 49ers over the Tampa Bay Yuccaneers. The Seattle Seahawks and the Carolina Panthers. People, this will be an excellent game. This is a game to